First on Fox tonight and all new at 10, 25 years later, detectives in Polk County have now arrested a man for his wife's murder. They say he confessed. And it was only recently that investigators were able to identify the woman's remains. Not only that, but their work also reconnected family members. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel spoke with the detective on the case tonight and now joins us live with more on this incredible story. Audrey? Wayne, this is really just such a fascinating series of events that investigators say now ultimately bring justice for the woman whose death was such a mystery for so long. 68-year-old Brian Clifton was arraigned just today on murder charges in the killing of Kathy Clifton back in 1996. This is a story that spans decades, and it starts right here in these woods where on September 1st, 1996, hunters found a woman's skull near the Mill Creek area in rural Polk County. Despite sketches, sculptures, and every other effort by investigators, her identity remained a mystery for more than 20 years. And I tried to think, you know, what can we do to identify this person? Because we really have nowhere to go until that's done. And Detective John Williams tells us in 2019 came a turning point. A retired investigator and documentary television show paid to use the same DNA technology that identified the Golden State Killer for this unidentified victim. Our case was the first one that was done. They narrowed down DNA matches over many months until they discovered the remains were Kathy Clifton's. From there, investigators pieced together her entire life history, spanning from Oklahoma to Oregon with adoptions and divorces and families separated. She eventually lost custody of her three children, then later married Brian Clifton. She was last heard from in March 1996. Her remains found six months later. She was never reported missing, nor was there any record of Kathy and Brian getting divorced. So why is that? And so the more we delved into it, you know, he, he became a stronger and stronger suspect. Detective Williams interviewed Brian several times between last year and this year and told him they'd found his DNA at the crime scene. When confronted with that, he told us how he killed her and disposed of her body. Wow. I can't even imagine having that conversation with a suspect 25 years after the fact. That must be kind of wild. It was crazy. Through this process, Kathy's children first learned she was killed and met relatives they didn't know about who lived nearby. The story of Kathy's life and death now known, her family reunited, and her suspected killer behind bars. I've used the word satisfying many times, and that's what it is. It's a nice end to this case. And Brian was extradited from Oklahoma to Oregon. Again, he was arraigned today. Detectives tell us that he was actually convicted in another murder back in the 70s and that he confessed to that one, too. He and Kathy got married after he got out of prison. Reporting live from the Mobile Newsroom, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12, Oregon.